This goes out to my wife, Michelle. Miss Cook, Lady Rue. Lady Rue, Lady Rue, Lady Rue. Hold me down, I love you. She's a woman of integrity, focus on eternity. Slugger Rue, E and T. Thank you for tuning in to Did You Go to Church today. I'm your host, Lady Rue. And this your boy, Slugger Rue. And we're going to be talking about trust. Trust is to have a strong belief in or confidence or to depend on something. Like when God brought the woman to Adam, God brought a trusted friend into Adam's life. Eve was Adam's helper, his helpmeet as a wife, his encourager, and his inward strength, the most appropriate for his life. And in Genesis 2 and 23, it reads, Adam said, This is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She was called woman because she was taken out of man. Amen. And that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to start off with the marriage aspect because we are a married couple and we believe in marriage. And Adam and Eve was the first marriage in the Bible. And they were uh, good because it says that uh, God brought something out of man and that something was the woman. Something that's connected to him. You know what I'm saying? This is yes. my rib right here. So if you married, hold your wife and say, this is my rib right here. I want to pray and thank God for all you married couples out there. But we're going to be talking about trust. It said that Eve was Adam's helper. Hallelujah. It says his encourager. Hallelujah. It was a point in time where um, in me and my wife's marriage, we had to uh, get some trust issues together. A time when I was going for, forth in ministry, I needed that encourager. You know what I'm saying? I needed yeah. that person to push me, but it was a lack there. And it was a, a point where I had to trust in God. You know what I'm saying? I had to pray to him and ask him, Lord God, why can I get that from my wife? Hallelujah. Amen. And that's what God wants. That was your test. He wanted you to trust in him first, then me. Because God comes before anyone in life. We need to uh, put our trust in God. And also, it was a point to where she had to trust in God as well. Amen. You had to trust in God with me because you had to find out, well, if you don't give God your attention first, you can never give me that attention. Amen. So I thank God that we both found trust in that marriage. And yes. also in our marriage, we can tell other married people that you have to trust God first. And then you can trust your spouse in those uh, areas uh, that they need comfort in, you know what I'm saying, I, I needed that that push, you know what I'm saying, I would tell her things and dreams and visions that I would have, but she didn't have that faith to believe, in order for you to have trust, you also have to have faith, Amen. and you want to thank God for that, go ahead, thank baby. you Jesus, yeah, and um, I thank God right now today that my faith level is on high, and I am yeah. at that level of faith that my husband has also, because we need to be equal, yes, Amen. as one. It says in the word, you have to be equally yoked. Yes. And also, um, we're going to talk about trust, like trusting in your job or trusting on you know, living in faith. You know what I'm saying? Right now, we're going through a crazy uh, economic time right now, you know what I'm saying, with the economy. But I want to let you know that you have to trust in the Lord. And yes. that's what the main scripture we're going to be coming from today. It's going to be Proverbs 3 and 5 through 10. And I'm going to also jump to 4 as well. Uh, this right here is a, a, a faith-based person. We got that word, so... You know, we ain't just going to have fun. We're going to have fun, but we're going to get in that word Amen. off times. Hallelujah. Fun. Yeah, the word is fun. Hallelujah. See, encourage her. God, she got my back. She got my back. It says, Proverbs 3 and 5, it says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to your own understanding. So when you're going through in your marriage, don't lean to your own understanding because my understanding is like, oh, I can leave her alone. You know what I'm saying? And likewise, she probably said, I can leave him alone. He ain't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? He not working. He just trying to do ministry. Hallelujah. That's I'm thinking, but she on another level. Hallelujah. Amen. And it says, and always acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. I had to acknowledge him, like, man, Lord, what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm saying? You said, what you gonna do? And it says, Be not wise in thine own eyes, fear the Lord, and depart from evil. And also it says, It shall be health to thy navel and moral to thy bones. Honor thy Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of all thine increase, so thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. Hallelujah. And this is for right here. And it says, So shalt thy find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. You know that you will find favor if you trust in the Lord. Do you know that you will find favor with God and man? Amen. That is a blessing. You know what I'm saying? And I thank God for the opportunity to, to trust in him so I can find favor with him first and then favor with man. Like we was talking about, we have to have trust in him first and then with man. And Amen. trust in him first and then with one man. Trust in him first. <laughs> Hallelujah. And it says the first fruit and he will let your barns 
overflow and explode with yes. increase. Hallelujah. So I want to say what's up to all my tie pairs out there. What's up, tie pair? You know what I mean? We getting it in. So I just want to thank God for that, that word on trust today. Hallelujah. And we'll be right back after these messages. Subscribe to us. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and all those. Be right back after these messages. What's up, ladies? This is Lady Rue, and I come to check on you. I want to know, are you still chilling and reading your Bibles? I just want to let you know to keep that one-on-one -on -one relationship with God and have that trust. That's what we talked about on Slug TV today. Did you go to church today? We talked about trust. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not into your own understanding. Hey. Hallelujah. Today, you see, we're talking about trust. Baby, tell them how you got your trust in the Lord. Um, I, had to get, I had to get my trust... On um, my faith basis had to be on high. I didn't even have the faith of a mustard seed. You know how small a mustard seed is? But anyway, I had to get it in for Jesus, for real. I had to get that one-on-one -on -one relationship Amen. with God. And I just that's, I just love that. Praise that's God. my word to myself. Get that one-on-one -on -one with God. You got to have that one-on-one. -on -one. Hallelujah. Yeah. And I thank God for giving her that one-on-one, -on -one, man. Because it yeah. was a time also in our marriage, man, that we was praising God. And after we came through, I was like, baby, all I I was praying for was Lord, Lord God, all I need is you. You know what I'm saying? I'm crying like all I need is you. And she told me, baby, all I was crying was Lord, I need was you. And yeah. that's what connected us. Because I, I had to trust in the Lord with all thy heart and yeah. not lean on my own understanding. I couldn't look to the left nor the right. I had to keep my eyes on the prize. On the and prize. that's God. Hallelujah. And then Hallelujah. God just, just changed that thing. You know yeah, what I'm he saying? Turned it around. Turned it around. It was no infidelity or no adultery or anything like that. It, it was, was just in the finances. You know, yeah. I had a little bogus job, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't do what I really wanted to do. So I want to give a shout out to all those men or all those women that are stepping out on ministry and you have a family. Make sure you take care of your family and ministry and, and watch God turn that thing yeah. around. So Amen. I want to encourage those men to keep doing your thing out there, man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. And give a shout out to the ladies, baby. Women, keep praying for your husband because a family that prays together stays together. Yes, yes. And, you know, just um, go to God with everything. I know we have friends and you know, little um, phone buddies or whatever you want to call it. But God is the one. He's the man. I'm Amen. telling you. Amen. He's the way, the truth, and the life, man. Amen. And that's it. He's the way to go. He's the truth. You know what I'm saying? It got to be some truthfulness. And you got to search him in spirit and truth. Search the word for the things Amen. that can help you out in, in your going through. You know what I'm saying? Talk to your spouse and like, well, uh, write a vision down and make it plain. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Excuse me. I would be writing things down, waking up out of dreams, like, baby, look at this. Look at the logo. Look at this. Look at this. And she'd be like, okay, okay. I'd be like, baby, well, look at this. Look at this. But her trust level had to get up. And nah, man, it's unstoppable. Unstoppable. I'm man. talking about, you, you, you got to see it to believe it. See it to believe it. And that yeah. thing is a faith. Because it says faith. You know what faith is? It's the substance of things unseen. Sing. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? So you got to see it in the spirit, believe it, so it can come manifest. You yeah, know what it's I'm all saying? spiritual. Yeah, it's all spiritual. And I just want to thank God that uh, our faith is just, just huge, man. Because I, I believe that we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us, that's in the word. The joy of the Lord is our strength, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We had to really get that joy yes. in, that, in, that, in that point of time of going yeah, through. Yeah, and seek the kingdom first, and all those things should be added on to you. Amen, and, and that's what we do, man. And we just yeah. want to thank y'all for tuning in yet again. Uh, continue to check us out. Uh, praise God, it's your boy. I want to highlight to all my fellas out there, man. I want to let you know that you got to keep trusting in God, man, no matter what's going on. Proverbs 3 and 5, trust the Lord with all thine heart, lean not to your own understanding. Trust in him, and then you can continue to be strong and being devoted. What I'm wearing right here is devoted. My boy Minister's new shirt, man. Make sure you check it out, man. You can get it on all his sites, man. So continue to check it out. You can see the stuff on the bottom of the screen, man. I just want to thank y'all for tuning in to Did You Go to Church Today. Continue to watch us, man, and tell everybody. Tell a friend to tell a friend that God is good and salvation is free. Keep trusting.